today everybody i'm going to be hitting max level in blocks roots that's right we've been sitting at around 2400 for a little while now this is my noob to pro series if you're new so make sure to check out the other episodes but this is this is crazy we're hitting max level this is insane so let's go ahead and get started i am going to find some blocks fruits two times codes so let's go there we go we've got about an hour now so let's get started chocolate quest giver two candy rebel i think is what we're on so let's accept that right away i think this is the first time i'm actually grinding with the god human um some of you have told me that god human is not actually technically the best for grinding but it's not bad either um it does a ton of dps so it is definitely worth using but there we go i mean with buddha like this is this is gonna be light work this quest should be done right about now there we go and look at that we're still getting three levels per quest which is amazing all right two more quests and we'll get to 2400 which means only 150 levels to go all right here we go that is level 2400 for your boy let's go all right we've got a new quest at the sea of treats okay so we've got another little area we can go to yeet okay look at this i don't think i've actually ever been here before okay what do we got over here we've got candy pirates level 2400 defeat eight of them all right no problemo i think i have to fight these guys until about 2425 and then we fight snow demons which is uh not too bad that shouldn't be too bad and boom just like that we had 24 26 which means we've got the next quest which are snow demons oh my goodness we are absolutely flying flying through this it's funny because like if you just kind of sit down you know you, you put your put your nose down to the grindstone with a buddha like you can like get through max level in like a couple days like it's, it's actually not that bad Obviously, having the Awakened Buddha Fruit makes this insanely easy, but I'd love to hear in the comments, let me know, if you don't have a Buddha Fruit, is grinding really hard? Is it time consuming? How hard is it? For me, it's like, all right, like here, I'll show you. This is what I do. You know, I just kind of punch them and then I, I dash and then I punch and then I just kind of sit here and I'm like, cool. And there we go. Level up. Easy. You know, I, I wonder how hard it is to grind with other fruits. But uh, we'll keep on grinding. I think we'll probably be here until 2450. Um, and then there might be another island. And if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be unlocking another island that is not a part of this like candy theme. I think it's like a tiki, tiki island. I, I think I could be wrong, but we'll find out. All right. Grinding is done. 2451. And there it is. Look at that. Tiki outpost. We've got a new island. Oh, my goodness. It is so far away. What the heck? All right, hold up. Let's actually celebrate for a new island. Let's buy ourselves a blocks fruit. I think I have one in the shop because I think I can buy myself a fruit. So let's see what we got. And boom, smoke fruit. Great. Uh, cool, I, I guess. Awesome. Yay. Okay, and uh, here we are. Tiki Outpost. Look at this. This place is crazy. What the heck? This must be like a new area or something because this is insane. Okay, so let's see. Our quest is right over here. I'm going to quickly use all my levels here. All right. Hello, Tiki Quest Giver. Isle Outlaw. Defeat eight Isle Outlaws. All right. And here they are. Boom. Let's get started. So I think this is pretty much where we will be finishing our grind i don't think there is an island after the tiki island and this will get us ultimately to 2500 which is insane yeah so there's 2475 npcs and then on that side is 2550 oh and just like that gamers 2500 we are two quests away from completing I mean, uh, technically not completing, but you know, getting max level. Oh my goodness. Like, this is crazy. Um, I've been playing now for about 55 minutes, so it's only taken me about an hour to get about 100 plus levels. So, hopefully I can find another code so we can extend this by another 30 minutes or so. But I will see you guys once we uh, finish this next quest, which is literally the Sun-Kissed Warrior. I mean, that's 
an interesting name all right defeat eight uh, sun kiss warriors as you can see we are at 2524 this will be the last uh little run of this quest here of fighting these guys it's been a little bit little bit annoying because there's this giant tree in the way i will admit that i probably don't necessarily need to grind um in this area there are definitely better areas to level up but you know what why not i mean look at this get this tree out of my way and then now all the the tree leaves are in my way my goodness my goodness it's also like constantly raining here which is again it's kind of annoying but uh you know we grind we still we get that we get our stuff done we get everything done all right one more one more warrior we gotta take out here and this will take us to the final final quest there it is oh my goodness all right, quest giver two, give me the Isle Champion, 25-25. And with this, this is gonna take us to max level. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Look at this. I mean, the fact that I have gone from barely be being able to play this game to getting to max level in less than like a month, or I mean about a month, I would say, um, is kind of crazy i hope you guys are proud of me if you are you know hit the subscribe button i'd appreciate that but anyways the grind continues all right look at this there we go there we go buddha obviously the goat but this is uh yeah there we go quest complete as always double exp is goaded i'm about to run out of it i have four minutes left on it so got to find another code to extend it by 20 minutes but uh you know we we, we hustle we grinding I will see you guys on the other side when we are about to finish up. And here we go, guys. This is it. This is it. The last grind, the last eight warriors that I have to take on. And of course, we'll celebrate by buying ourselves another blocks fruit because I love gambling. You know how it is, but I, I you know, it, it's crazy. It's crazy that we've gotten here and I mean technically there's still more to come because there is a, a new like Leviathan boss battle thingy. There's obviously always going to be more updates that come to the game. So this is max level for now. You know what I mean? But it, of course in the comments down below, let me know what should I do next? This noob to pro series was pretty much carried by you guys because you guys told me what I should be doing and uh, here it is the final final kill there it is max level <laughs> let's go dude that is crazy to see oh my goodness so we got three max melee defense and sword amazing absolutely amazing all right all right let's go to the blocks here gotcha let's gamble a little bit what are we gonna get today Ooh, ghost fruit hey that's not bad that's i honestly i will take that that is an uncommon right no, it's actually a rare. Noise. Honestly, this is the best way to end this episode. The first C. All right, I think we have to go to the upper sky. Yes, okay, we gotta talk to the Sniper King, Usopp. Let me check my stats. My current mastery is at 3,800. So I have to get this up to 5,000, I think. And the way I have to do it is literally just sit here and just dodge attacks until i get that up to like 5000 so it's gonna still be a little while until you know i level up my instinct to level two but uh yeah that's all the time we have for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video hold up let me let me just ratio this guy get out of my way anyways for the third time thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed if you enjoyed hit the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one and goodbye